reading citation. This is notorious. I haven't realized the bad, bad fox to read your poem. This one is entitled Yawning. Oh, the yawns. She who dances with the tide. Um. Um. Words. Words and things. Things and words. Um, this was done again by Chaos and Everything, and again, I've been writing a lot for Chaos, and I do appreciate the inspiration that Mr. and Mrs. Chaos gives out, and I'm glad I could be of really good inspirational usefulness to any artist who actually sees my poetry and goes, Ooh, I can write something! But, um, anyway, this picture, I think it just kind of caught a glimpse of adorableness and... I remember a lot of watching a lot of, um, oh my god, I can't think of her name, right there in Diamond. But, I've been watching a lot of Bella dancers, dancers lately, and I like the control of it. The dance, the control of Bella dancing is surely amazing. And, <sighs> well, sorry. But, to, but the control it takes to do any form of true dance, it will always boggle the mind, and I do love that about it. It just makes me smile and be happy. But I like this picture because not only does it focus surely on the subject, it brings your attention to everything around it as you're following the actual movements of the subject. When you ain't moving at all, then you aren't saying shit, and you have no imagination. But an art, any good artist or storyteller can make the subject, even if it's a still, move without moving. You can envision the movements. You can see where every rock, every dip, every turn will happen, even if the subject itself is still. And that's a show of a good artist. Like an artist, a writer can make every word move, can make every word pop. It's where the simplest of words can mean something. And again, that's what's a good writer. I'm not there. I don't think I'll ever be there. But then again, that's my own pessimism, pessimism of my own works. <laughs> I'm normally a very optimistic person, but like anyone is with their actual craft, they think it sucks. Everybody else thinks it's awesome. I'm a firm, I'm a firm believer of I think my shit sucks. Everyone else thinks it's okay. You know, so I didn't say awesome. I said okay. I'm getting there, people. It's a work in progress. I'm still going through my hills and valleys, my ups and downs, my points of emo ness. Like that logic sign is not going to move. <laughs> but it's actually over there. So, so like that logic sign is not going to move. But um, what I think the first thing to do, let's adjust ourselves correctly. I have not worn any of my necklaces. I have a fucking ton of them. I should start wearing those bitches. I'll probably do that when I make an announcement when all these poems are done and I'm caught up and I have like a bunch of poems that no one wants and I'm start doing LPs again for no reason or parodies, whichever comes first. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So this again is Natalia, let's play some eardrums, and this is she who dances with the tides. <clears throat> Tell me, youth, do you know of she who dances like the brilliant glory skipping across the netted seas, tipping, flipping, and dipping off the wave's crest as if they were trapeze wires above the glass plane? Yes, she who hangs like a silken drapes against the burning twilight, catching the eye of those who ponder and wander into her parlor, but don't have the balls nor the gall to approach such a spider. For if you know of she, then you know of I who swings the harmony of this forgotten lullaby, for I am the one who lets the silk kiss the thighs, and as her hips swirl to the melodies of the moon's light and the ocean's gentle tide. Okay. I'm kind of in a mess because I'm like, did I miss it? I want to say I missed the bitch and verse, but I'm like, no. 
I, I didn't. I was good. That was decent. I think I was too confused. I like I thought this was just longer than long the dur. Anyways, Isaac, first language just studied it. Um, this was notorious. I might give this another second look. So, <laughs> paces. Yeah, words. <laughs>